Step one, fit the top and bottom panels to the two rack frames. Both the top and bottom panels have grooves for the rack frame. The top of the rack enclosures has vented slots and the bottom has removable cable entry slots. Using a Phillips screwdriver, fix the panels to the frames using the M8 bolts and M8 nuts provided with the server enclosure. There are two fixing holes in each corner. Step two, fix the heavy duty casters and stabilizing feet to the bottom of the rack. Use a screwdriver to attach the four casters using the screws provided. Four screws are used to hold each caster in position. Now screw the four adjustable feet into the corner of the bottom plate. Adjust the height of the nut to raise or lower the feet. Step three, fit the horizontal support rails to the rack frame using M6 bolts and M6 cage nuts. There are three support rails for each side of the rack frame. Keeping the horizontal rails equal distance apart is a good idea. Using a screwdriver, fix the horizontal support rail in place using M6 screws and M6 cage nuts. Step four, fit the rack strip to the horizontal support rails using M6 screws and M6 cage nuts. Place the cage nuts into the position you would like to mount the front and rear rack strip. A pair of cage nuts should be used at both ends of the horizontal support rail. When step four is complete, repeat step three and step four on the opposite side of the rack enclosure. Step five, fit the front and rear doors using the door pins provided. Place the door pin into position then line up the hole in the bottom of the rack door and lift the door onto the door pin. Secure the door in position using the spring bolt. Step six, fit the side panels to the rack enclosure. Each side panel will fit securely in place by first lining up the grooves at the bottom of the side panel, then the two slam locks can be pushed into position. Step seven, to stabilize your rack enclosure into a permanent position, adjust the stabilizing feet so that they take the weight of the enclosure and prevent any movement. Your rack enclosure is now complete and ready to use.